Hello. I am just a little early, which is great, actually. Um, so I can get my papers straightened out here. Let me see who's live. Maybe Dana. Hello. Let me get my... Let me do a little bit of sharing on some pages. And hi, Francis. Let me share to a group. Hi, Mel. I'm glad to see you again. Mel was our winner of the Digi last week, which is awesome. I can't wait to see what she creates with it. Let me turn this down. Turns out, let me see. I, apparently I'm at the stage in life where the bifocals are necessary, but you can barely, I mean, you have to turn your head up and turn your head down and turn your head up again. When I go to see the TV screen or the computer screen, I have to have a different view. So I'm going to put this out there. I want to share with stamp junkies as well. Can I do a group? Won't let me do another group. I'll have to share it later to Stamp Junkies. Okay, well, we can get started. Of course, I don't want to hold you ladies up. We have uh, Susan Bennett. Great to see you. And a Janet Stewart. Nice to meet you. Um, my name is Tammy Louise. And I opened a store just this January, tlcdesigns.shop. And I have just a few images and some digital paper and the double dial die, which I'm not sure how familiar you, were, familiar you all may be with the double dial die, but um, it's really an interesting interactive die that um, you can make more than one object move on your card at the same time. And uh, it's really super popular, but I have some digis that I wanted to do a Facebook Live on as well. Um, this gender-friendly digital image is named Jazz. And the image comes with several 
little pieces to it so you can piece in girl bows and um, popsicles or lollipops. Uh, let me see if I can find one of the other samples of the card. No, nope, it must have gotten put away. Um, these objects come to you in a digital format with the creature separate. So you can create a boy, I actually have a man's like a Sunday tie, um, and this is separate. There's a few different separate pieces, and I'm not sure how familiar everyone is with digital images. Hi, Donna. Oh, it's Dana, I'm sorry. Hi, Dana. Terry LaForest Miller, glad you ladies could join me. With digital files, um, you're not limited to the specific size like you are a stamp. This particular image that I have printed out, I colored this image myself. I use, um, it's a program called Procreate on the iPad. And I have printed it at almost four inches high. And in doing that, it doesn't restrict how much of the card this individual item is going to take up. So I thought that it was a point that I wanted to make when you come and buy digital stamps from somebody, you can make it any size for any project that you intend to work with. And I think that that um, l leaves a lot of possibilities. Hi, Dana. So I wanted to discuss something else. We just discussed jazz and the fact that with the PNG, you could pull over um, the hat and put the hat wherever you want. You could lay the hat on the floor next to him or her and uh, color it any way you want. You don't have to print it out already colored. This is, this is for Facebook Live um, example. Basically, I colored it real fast and uh, printed it out and I wanted to show you that you can print them out in any size you wanted. Now, another thing that I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with is when you buy digital and it comes with several different pieces, you can make your own design paper. Yes, ladies, this is the same exact items. I pulled up some watercolor paper. I actually designed myself years ago and I found that the color matched the pinks that I had colored on the image itself. And I put one, two, three, four, five lollipops, all different sizes, five bows, five hats, and I just mixed them up on the paper and printed it out. Um, this can really add to the design of your project um, in a specific way. I mean, I'm designing this particular project uh, t for one of my nieces and she just won a medal for the spelling bee and I wanted to send her a card that just would be special specifically for her. So what I decided to do was print the design paper, print the image itself out. I'm going to tell you some of the things that I used. We're using Simon Says Cotton Candy colored um, paper stock. I am using today, it's called Diagonal Stitched Rectangles by Pink Fresh Studio. And I fell in love with this and I want to make a double dial designed card with it because I know that this airplane would be awesome if it moved over some clouds, could come up and go in front of it, that sort of thing. But I really like this, you're the best because it just screamed out that, you know, she was the best in the spelling bee. She's nine, and, and I think that it's important that she gets um, recognized for her accomplishments, just like adults do. I am going to let you know that I've pre-cut. So this piece of paper that I've printed the design paper out on, I think what I want to do is just maybe do a little bit of fussy cutting on specific ones and maybe pop them up 
on the card itself so that it gives it a little bit of dimension because this is nearly a flat card. Um, but we are making a shaker, but the belly is the only piece that's going to shake. And I know you're going, what? What have you done? <laughs> um, I have this image, which here's the paper stock. Here's one of the dies that I want to use to give it a little bit of um, texture on the card itself. So we're going to die cut that. And then we're going to put this on. So it's going to look like that with some white around it. That will be the basis of the card. Now I put this little guy over here. And I made my own banner that's going to go down the side of the card this way. And I wanted to also explain that uh, Seven Kids Crafts Store also carries the double dial die. I want to mention that and let you know that she ships worldwide. TLC Designs Shop only ships to the U.S. for uh, the dice, but if you're interested, hi Kathy, if you're interested in the digis, um, it does send, of course, worldwide, but Seven Kids Crafts, I just got these, and I thought, how cute are these? It's called Dress My Craft Desert Mix, or Dessert Mix, I'm sorry, and it has cute little, I think they're brand new, they just came out at CHA, and uh, Seven Kids is carrying them they have little candies and I thought how cute that would be some of these are actually lollipops so I did a little bit of digging through there and I have uh, from Lucy's cards a coconut ice because I wanted to add some of that shimmer and the pink matches really well and then I haven't tried these yet but I've wanted to so Jules ice cube mix lucyshop.com little things and they are like, they look like diamonds, which I thought would be really cute. So what I did earlier today, I got one of my empty bottles and I mixed up what I thought might fit in the belly of this little character. And um, this is what we're going to use for the shaker card. I don't know how many of you actually made shaker cards, but they're really fun. It's not interactive, but it gives you a little bit of liveliness to the card. So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to take it this off. This is the one that I want to add a little bit of texture to. So I'm going to run this one. I want to keep it the same. So I'm going to put a little bit of tape on it. I want to keep that. It does cut as well. I wish I had one that just had these texture marks and didn't cut because I did some pre-cutting on this. But what I think I'm gonna do is use some washi tape. Thank you, Francis. I think he's cute too. You've never made a shaker card, Dina? Oh my goodness. You live in Michigan, girl. We're going to have to work something out and get together. Maybe a, we'll find a craft spot or some kind of a scrap, scrapbooking show or something in between where you live and where I live. And we'll have to get together. We can do a whole bunch of different things. Or you could just keep visiting me on Thursday night, too. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know why it's stuck to that so well and not the paper. All right. Let's do it again. Let's go. I want to get the texture, so this might take me an extra second. I just need to be real slow and really patient, which isn't one of my strong points. I try. <laughs> I'm going to run this real quick through my Gemini. I wanted to mention last Thursday's project was with Winking Wanda 
and I paper pieced <laughs> Winking Wanda from Digital Paper. And I'm not sure what happened, but for some reason, I had the word peers in my head. And we kept calling it paper piercing. And I'll be darned if I didn't on every single one of the posts that I shared the project with. I called it paper piercing every time. And I don't know why. I want to apologize for that error. I got quite a few women that actually mentioned it. And I think that there's there's definitely a nice way to do something like that. And a not so nice way. And, uh, you know, I got both. <laughs> so I wanted to apologize to anybody that that may have offended or bothered in any way. Um, but I do appreciate somebody letting me know. I mean, I posted it everywhere that way. And it's, it, piercing is when you pierce through the paper with, with a tool or something. And paper piecing is when you actually put a piece of paper in place. So, but I am not by any means perfect. And, uh, you know, that would be fun. Oh, Kathy, you've made shakers. Aren't they fun? Never a dull moment with a shaker card. I, I'm, that's what I wanted to come up with. Wow, I got that pretty good. Thank goodness. I'm going to have to clean that up later. But we got that part done. That's fantastic. I'm going to keep my paper in the center so that I know that the camera is actually able to see everything. Now, what I thought I would do... That's the one layer that goes on top of the card. Next thing I want to do is, where did I put the paper? So if I have this here and he is going to be bumped up right here on the edge of the card. Hmm, I may have to adjust my thinking on this. Let me look. Because I really want some of those, some of these items, I want them to be able to pop up. He's going to be popped up. He or she or, we'll call it Jazz. Jazz is going to be popped up, so. I'm going to shake a card. I love making shakers. That would be fun. Okay, I just want to keep up with the messages as well. So, if I put it there, that means I could pop up this piece, this little bow, this little bow, this little hat, these pieces maybe. I would need to... Hmm. This one was not pre-made, ladies, so I am on the thought process. Which is good, I think it kind of adds to the make. I might want it like that. I think I do, actually. So I am going to take a peek at this one and see if I can figure out which way this matches because I printed it the same exact oh there it is okay so this this one this one this one let's do this bow that's going to be covered up. That's 
let's do as much of this one as we can to equal this guy. Let's do this one. That's good. Not too much fussy cutting tonight. <laughs> I, uh, I think people decided that I went completely overboard on Winking Wanda last week, but I think fussy cutting is relaxing. If I could do that for a living and make money at it, I think I would. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. That's... A lot of people have an issue with fussy cutting, but I just, I don't, I'm not sure. I think it's like knitting where you get into the thought process of everything. Sharon, oh my gosh. So nice to see you. I'm glad you joined in. I don't know if you remember me. Um, Sharon was one of the very first women, it must be 11 years ago, maybe more, now that um when i got first started in crafting and coloring and blogging um i had so many questions <laughs> and uh wasn't sure how to do any of it and sharon just kind of helped me with all of my questions she was one of those women that had been doing it for quite a while and uh, knew everything and knew how to answer every question. It was fantastic. I don't think I'll ever forget that. But just one of those things that makes somebody really get to know each other in the crafting business. Yeah, Kathy, some people do hate it. I'm sorry if you hate fussy cutting. But it's going to be really cute. Does that if, that, if that helps at all. I think... Some people don't like glitter either, um, just simply because it's just so messy. I mean, there's just nothing neat about glitter. Thank goodness someone came up with one of those little trays that you fill. Um, you can dump it back in like your embossing powder and stuff like that, and then it has a little tunnel that it comes out. Otherwise, uh, we would have that stuff all over the house. Luckily, the whole project isn't fussy cutting. I'm going to try and put as much of these uh, sprinkles and glittery items and whatever this other stuff is. I think they're just candies. I think it's plastic that I can get in the belly. That's my objective with today's card because I, I want to show that digital images ha do have a lot of versatility. Make them whatever size you want them. And you can hand color them. You can color them on a computer and make the entire scene if you would prefer to. You can add them to design paper like we're doing today. Which for the price that you're getting is really a great deal. You're not restricted or confined to the size that the rubber stamp or the poly stamp is made. Um, but at the same time, there's some other things that are more difficult to do with digitals too. Like reverse print, reverse stamping and things like that. Each of them has their pros and cons. I think it's nice that I have a stash of both types. There's one of the bows. Oh, Kathy, awesome. Scan a cut, see? Okay, you, you ladies. I have one. <sighs> the problem is <laughs> I don't have any space to put it, and I don't enjoy it as much as fussy cutting. Is that is that is that a good way of putting it? <laughs> I have one. I do have one. It's it, it's kind of old. I did use it a few times. Um, I don't have a ton of space. My craft area is very small. I'd have to move my 
Gemini and all the cutting um, utensils that I have and the boxes of paper and things like that in order to fit it in the counter that I have. So I guess I just haven't wanted to do it. <laughs> not making an excuse. I'm just telling the truth. So I think there's a new scan and cut on the market, isn't there? Ladies, do you know if there's a new one that just came out? And I think it's a, uh, well, Wi-Fi friendly and it does some other stuff. I'm not sure. And does anybody know the price of those? I think most of the machines are like $200, $300, something like that. It just depends if you get them on a sale or if you use a coupon. Now, as I'm cutting, I'm leaving the black line in on the outside of the actual um, image so that when I pop it up uh, to make some dimensions on my flatter card, you'll be able to see the entire image. And you can tell it's a bow. Oops. Get this off my guy. There we go. Two more. Seems I ended up with a lot of the bows that were available on the card to present some layering, a little bit of dimension. If I were doing the entire bear as a shaker, like on a white frame or something, that would be different. I wouldn't need so much additional extras. Um, Trying to finish a thought and fussy cut at the same time. It's a little complicated, but I wouldn't need so many extras, so many little details. I wouldn't need that many because pretty much the shaker would take up the card if I had made it bigger. I was thinking, wouldn't he be cute? Or he or she or Jazz. We're going to call it Jazz. Um, jazz would be cute on like a place card with the name of the little kid that's supposed to sit in that particular table space just like a small like I need two size I think that'd be really cute and of course the card would be smaller than jazz jazz would be like the top part and you could put the name down at the bottom by jazz's feet so I don't know how many of you have seen the most recent advertisement I put out today we are doing a call to subscribe to the new store tlcdesigns.shop and I am doing a giveaway once I have reached 50 subscribers uh, to the email list the newsletter the sales any promotions any uh, you know discounts things like that in the newsletter the updates the releases all of that information I want to build that so that I can get the word out when there's something going on that everybody might want to be involved with. Once I reach 50, I'm going to have my husband draw a name and we'll do it on one of the lives so that everybody can see um, how it goes. Make sure it's fair. And then I, it is worldwide, so you don't have to be in the States. What would be cute, Kathy? The, I'm sorry, but the um, video is on a little bit of a delay and sometimes I have talked so much that I don't recall what it is. Um, anyway, we're doing a giveaway. I'm gonna send you the die. And then uh, also, I wanted to let everyone know that there's that second design paper that I told everyone last week was going to be in the store is in the store. 
Oh, it is called Soft Blush, and it's that um, velvety kind of smooth-looking vintage paper that I used on Winking Wanda last week. So it is currently in the store. All right. All right. Let me see. What I want to do... Get out of cutting that... Gonna move some of these out of the way. Let me make sure because I've moved everything around quite a bit. I want to make sure that you're still on the video or that she is still on the video. All oh, the card for the table, yeah. Yeah, the like a little place setting. I think that would be fun. I'm going to get out my, which I never use these, but I want to use it today. I'm going to get out one of those tools. I shouldn't say I never use it, but I very rarely use cutting tools. Um, blades. Exactos or Sharpies or not Sharpies, but they're called something like exacto knives. I get out my knife, and yep, it's in the middle of the screen, so that's awesome. So, all I need to do is make the hole where I want the items to shake from. <laughs> one of these is let me I'm thinking I'm sorry I, I had a thought process going on in my head if this is going to sit on the bottom and he's going to be up on the top this one's going to be on the top I need the hole to be in this one all right so I'm just going to This one isn't very sharp. Not happy with the way that it's cutting at all. So, I don't like that. I'm gonna go in with scissors. I have a better chance of making a real nice edge with my scissors than I do with that knife. I'm gonna maybe have to get a new Exacto knife. I'm, I'm not sure if Seven Kids carries it. Does anybody know? All right. These scissors are the best scissors I've ever found. They come from Cluster Heart. And I mean, you can see how close that nib is. And it cuts like a razor blade. Really sharp one. I'm gonna use some Distress Ink in here too so that it looks more smooth. It looks finished. So I hope everyone is 
heeding the warning from our current virus, staying out of some public areas, washing up, that kind of thing. I hope everyone is safe. I pray that all of us stay well. I was kind of disappointed because there's a Henry Ford Museum here in Dearborn, in Michigan, where I live, that uh, has a brand new display for Marvel. And uh, my son bought tickets for my birthday, which is coming up at the end of the month. Um, for us to go together, he's he's a really big Marvel person, and I love Marvel. Um, I need to get my distress ink out real quick while I'm talking. Where is the... here it is. Um, to the Marvel exhibit for my birthday, anyway, and it's March 28th is the exhibit, and I am hoping that someone has done something in order to allow me to, I'm going to have to get up here real quick. Oops, sorry, ladies. Allow me to attend the Marvel exhibit. I, of course, won't if things haven't changed. I'm going to grab... Here's Black Set. I'm not going to put it on a block. I, because I want to, I'll show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it, but I want to be able to use my finger to kind of curl it. Grab a little bit of black sud. I'm going to curl it like this. Just touch the edges. With some of that ink, like I discussed last week, the paper on the inside is white, so we have quite the unfinished looking image with white in there. There. I do want to get that spot. Let's see if I can't. Thank you, Kathy. I love those scissors. And they're um, they're like titanium covered or something, so they don't stick to gluey surfaces either. They're really nice. So there's our, I'll put it on the white now that we've done the cutting. There's our finished bear. All I need to do is fussy cut him out. The first image that I cut out, I wanted to be the base, and I left intentionally some white around the edge because the design paper that I created is really busy and it's pink, it's dark, and that white is going to just separate that image enough so that he pops out. It, jazz pops out. He's really not a he. He's, he's gender neutral. I am fond of the show. I'm not hyper about it or anything and I think that some of the reality shows that are on these days go a little overboard but um, I Am Jazz is a show that I think any person that is young, a young person that is going through something different in their lives 
I'm excited to have my son who is autistic watch other people step forward and be brave and love who they are and I think that it's important for the families to see other families struggling with it and going through it and trying to help the special needs person or the person that has differences from the general population. I think it's important that the moms see other moms do it and the dads are okay. It's okay to support your family. So that's why I named this individual illustration Jazz because it's not a girl, it's not a boy. The illustration is Jazz. I think Jazz is a name that can be a male or a female. Jazz is um, the first illustration in what I'm going to, it's a, a line that I'm going to start opening with, with this illustration. It's called Furly, Fairly Furry, and it's going to be flur, furry animals that are fairies. The next image, I think, is a kitty cat. And I know I have a really close friend, her name is Connie, that um, loves cats. Probably I'm terribly excited if she's joined us. Hi, Tammy. Oh, I see. That's very detailed. Yes, cat. It is very detailed. Great to have you here. Hi, Carol. And uh, Sandy. I love having you ladies along. This image is called Jazz. It's a digital image. In case you've just joined, I colored her on it on um, a program called Procreate on my iPad. And I simply printed it because I didn't want to spend today's Facebook Live coloring. I want to make a shaker out of it and I want to show the um, versatility of digital stamps basically. We've created, uh, this particular image comes with, <clears throat> excuse me, a few little details like the bows and the hat and the bow ties and um, the lollipop. Those are all separate from the actual critter when you buy the digital. And what I wanted to show was that that gives you a lot of versatility. I'll show you ladies right now. Again, for everyone that's just now joining. Yes, cat, my son is fantastic. I I always say, you know, I have two children. Um, one is married and, you know, past college and all of those things. Both of them are in their 20s. One is going to be hitting 30. Um, Christian is his name, and uh, he is autistic, and he has opened my eyes a great deal, not only on a parenting level but a personal level, um, the growth that I've learned. Um, the acceptance, things like that uh, are very special to me. And I would take 10 more of him. I really would. It is a lot of work. Um, but I'd rather, you know, know that it came out where he is the right kind of him. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job. He's a fantastic kid. So back to this design paper, all I did was pull up some watercolor paper that I had designed years ago. And I um, varied the sizes of the digital images and I placed them on top of the watercolor paper and printed it and I basically created my own design paper that corresponds and coordinates directly with jazz same colors can't mess up don't have to dig through piles kind of create your own that's one of the other liberating things about digital images you can make them any size you're not limited by size like you would be in a regular stamp. You can hand color them, 
after printing black and white, or you can color them yourself and just print them out. I know some stores actually sell them pre-colored, which I ran across. I don't know if any of you are familiar with um, Lily of the Valley. I saw that she now has digitals for sale. Um, and a lot of the images are f from ages ago, her stamps, which I thought was interesting. How many of you work with digitals by comparison to poly stamps or rubber stamps? Do you enjoy those? Are you familiar with digitals? Let me see what the messages are. Jazz is super cute and ready to party. Uh, Marsha says, I have volume off. The little one is not cooperating. Oh, I see. Oh, I don't remember little ones, Marsha. Yeah, I'm too old. <laughs> um, that's a great idea for... Oh, background paper. Thank you, Kat. And then Francis loves digis. Awesome. That is something that I'm getting more and more used to. I used to always love the rubber stance because I thought for some reason I would get a better, better crisper print. But our technology nowadays is so much better than it was 10 or 11 years ago um, that you really get beautiful prints from digital stamps. I'm leaving the hairs on there too. Now, don't forget, when you fussy cut, I think it looks more finished if you just do a little bit of dabbing of ink around the edges. Just makes it look like it's supposed to be a completely finished image. One more little section here and we're done. I actually hadn't thought that I would be spending that much time today fussy cutting because I did it so much last week but I want to show this image in its best light and I think a belly full of little jigglies is going to be really cute on it so Kat says that's a great idea for background paper. Yep, yeah, thank you. Frances, um, she loves digis. Kat says, oh, you dug both. That's really nice. I, I do too. I think I'm getting a little more into the digis now that I have a store that, um, face it, you don't have to manufacture anything. You do, you spend your normal amount of time designing, but you would do the designing for rubber stamps anyway, or poly. Um... You don't have to store anything physical, you know, like in a facility or in your basement or anything like that with the digitals, of course. Um, there's no shipping. <laughs> there's no packing. Uh, there's an app called Digital Downloads in the Shopify platform that I'm current my store is currently on and they send everything automatically which I think is really helpful and you get helpful little emails saying you know it's on the way or you know if you put them in your cart and you haven't decided to actually buy them you can get little updates on we have this in your cart, that kind of thing. All right. So, basically all I've done is finished it off here with black soot distress ink, which is right here. And turn this over. I want... Take the sheet of acetate. The only portion I really need to cover is right there. So a little square. I'm sorry if my hand is in the way of the camera. 
I just want to get this little section started so I know exactly how big to make it. I might still have to clean it up just a little. Let's see what we've done. Definitely want it to cover the whole thing, so we're going to leave it that way. I'm going to grab my glue. Pull this way. I use glossy accents for everything, I think. And tonight, of course, it's not going to come out for me. Let me see. I even keep a pin in it <laughs> to make sure that it's always available. And yet, it's just not coming out. There we go. Let me see if I'm catching up. I'm just getting into the digital. Pam joined. Nice to have you, Pam. Uh, Kathy says he's going to be adorable. Thank you, Kathy. Hi, Trudy. Kat says, I love you can make them different sizes. Yeah, which for each individual project that you want to make, it's fantastic. And you can get them instantly. Yeah, you don't have to wait in the mail. You don't have to pay for shipping. It's really good. Um, she also said, oh, Kathy Myers says, I do not, I do like not having to wait weeks to get my product. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. And hello, Jim. Karate must be over. So we're going to have this done super momentarily. It's going to be a shorter video tonight, which I think is fine. I really need to get into the store and get some more work done anyway. Let's make sure we put this exactly the way where we need it. Right there. We're gonna give that just a minute to dry. Now there is a little section. I'll have to get those snippers in. That's gonna be so that you can see through the belly. Yay, so cute. It is so cute. The image is so cute. I'm not sure what's proper with that. The illustration. I really like him. He is in a release. He's in the store currently. He came out with Winking Wanda and Winky Wanda is um, very popular right now. I think once we put him in a special project like the one we're working on today, people will see the capabilities growing. Okay, so we have the pink and then I am going to get the tape runner. We used uh, just a design um, die, Pink Fresh Studio, I believe was the name of it, to put a little bit of texture in the project. Not only do you try and get color, texture, elevation or uh, depth in the projects, I'm gonna pull this up real quick and it might not be perfectly in your view, but I, I have to eyeball it straight on in order to get this correct. Now the base card is Cotton Candy from Simon Says. The card is four and a quarter by five and a half. This is cut one quarter of an inch shorter. The next design paper 
Ooh, and I moved this design paper, didn't I? So let's see what we have when we put him here. We're placing him to the left of the card, and you can see why I put that white around his base. He is gonna be popped up just a little. I have some really super small ones. I have, I forgot the name of the maker of this. Hello Bluebird is where the sentiment is coming from. The card is from a niche. You want a spelling bee. So I wanted it to say you are the best. And I'm going to pop some of these up. Uh-oh, what have I done, ladies? I can't remember if the design paper, maybe this was it. I think, I think I've got it now. Okay, good. Phew. So, I'm going to put a little bit of finishing touch on one of these hats. Anybody saying anything? Cat. I love you can make them different. Yep. Yep. Hi, Debbie. I'm Jim. We are caught up. Let's see if I can match up this. Yep, that's the same one. So we're gonna finish this one off. That's the dog. <laughs> Sorry, one of three. I have three little baby dachshunds. Well, one of them is no longer a baby and he's really not that little. The other two are babies. This is gonna be covering this hat, I remember. That specifically. Two. Let's pop him up. Hope I want to finish him off um, around the edges so that you can't see the white. Just that finishing touch really can help. I'm always so much happier when I can't see the white through. There. 
I do have another bow. I wonder where... I really don't need it. Oh, maybe it was this guy. It was. Yep, see how it's already cut? Okay. So, I'm going to darken the edges of the paper of this one. Oh, somebody said something, cat. I'm glad to see you finishing the edges with the black. You don't see that much anymore. I just believe it gives more dimension. You know, I agree. Uh, it looks like it's more finished. It almost looks like it's one of the die cuts that you could get in a, like a kit. It's all properly finished. It doesn't look as though someone actually just grabbed a which is what I did, but you know, you don't want things to look that way just because it is that way. I agree. Let me see, which way does this go? This way. Oops, and that's not gonna work, is it, ladies? There. All right, I think we're ready to do some placement work. I do kind of like him up, it up, the illustration. Maybe over here more, I don't know. No, right there, I like it right there. This one has to be used too, because there's a spot right here. Oh, I think I have that sentiment still to put in there. Hi, Brandy. Welcome. I'm Tammy Louise. We're crafting with some digital images today. This particular illustration's name is Jazz. You can find it in the TLC Designs that shop store. The illustration, the set that you'll get is, of course, just black and white. It does not come pre-colored, but it has all of these um, other images like the bows and the hats and the lollipops and what I've done is created on a watercolor piece of paper it's going to be really cute okay all right so now we're just going to put some dimension I might want to just I don't want it to look distressed, but I don't want it to look white around the edges either. It just finishes it a little, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna use pop dots, which I have these really cute ones. I'm not sure where I got them, but they have these little black dots and I think I've fallen in love with the design, either that or I've hypnotized myself to think that I'm in love with them. <laughs> The illustration was covered with Procreate. It's a program that I have on my iPad. It's really easy, user-friendly. And then I just printed it out. The image is about four inches big, which I think one of the best things about digitals is you can make them any size. 
for all of our new joiners. Okay. Again, I'm going to take this out of your view just for a second so that I can be sure and get this perfectly centered. Like that. Oh, I'm really happy with how the white edge just barely comes out and you see that texture on there. That's exactly what I was going for, which doesn't always happen for me. But I'm going to pop this base up. Mostly head and a little bit of the body. So I'm going to do a drawing. I'm going to ask if my husband is still online watching the video. James, are you there? I think what I'll do, one lucky winner, give away one of these jazz images. So let's pick a number from, he is here, so that's great, from 1 to 15. Without going over, whoever is closest will get a jazz image. I might want to put another one. I wasn't sure how close I was going to be to this edge, and I think that it's an odd shape. So I wanted to know if my husband was still watching because he can kind of pick a number. After we're all done, don't put it online, James. So, now all we need to do is put tape. Dimensional tape around. Which I haven't even opened this one yet. It's brand new. Oh, there we go. I like this kind of tape too because uh, you can make it as thin or thick as you want. You just cut it down. So, these are where I'm going to need very thin sections. And of course, it still had some of the green from when the tape starts. We'll cut that away. Cut it straight, Tammy, so you can get a straight one. About that wide. It can be a little tricky, but totally worth it. Here. And here. Thanks, Mel says it's so sweet. Oh, Kat has eight, Francis has five, Dana has seven, Kathy has 11. James, stop joking around. These women are not playing when it comes to free stuff. <laughs> All right, ladies, we, I'm gonna wait just a few more minutes in case somebody else, we have quite a few ladies online joining us. And I want everyone to have an opportunity to get in. I am giving away one of these digital images. You can't see them because I'm taping, but this image is called Jazz. It's in the tlcdesigns.shop store online. And I'm gonna give it away to the person that gets closest to whatever number my husband has in his head. Yo, James, <laughs> cat saying hello.
Mel says so sweet. Kat says hi. You guys are discussing things. That's good. I did pre-warn him though. He wasn't to uh, get quite as involved in my lives like he did last week. We, although we did have a really good time. I don't know how many of you joined us. I had the opportunity, but we had quite the hoot. I was giggling quite a bit. I couldn't stay focused. He was making jokes and my son got involved and because they go to karate together and <laughs> it was fun, but distracting. <laughs> If they're nothing else, they are distracting, aren't they, ladies? Yes, Dana, you had a good time last week. Yes, he's, you know, I do have a very comic family. Um, I think if my husband wasn't so good with electronics and the and the web, he could be a com uh, really could be a comedian. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm going to double layer it because I um I want to show people too. I used this is in Seven Kids Craft Store right now. I know she has some. Last time I looked. This is called Just My Craft Des Dessert Mix and they're cute little lollipops which match the project perfectly. I've got a little things, um, Jules ice cube mix, which are diamond like, and some sequins that are really very sparkly. And I, and I added some of the pink to it. So I kind of created my own mix and I wanted to jiggle in there really well. He's got a belly full of candy. Basically he is eating candy. So that's what I'm going for. Now, obviously, you don't want any gaps in your tape, um, your piled-on tape here. So, make sure you cover all your spots, ladies. I also have another trick with this, too. I don't remember when I picked it up. But you can use baby powder with just like a Q-tip or shake some baby powder in there. Go around the edges because sometimes if you feel it, it is a little bit tacky. And it has the possibility of actually catching some of your gems on it. And, and we don't want that. We want them to jiggle. Milo is getting very impatient, James. If you would like to head home, that would be fine with me. I'm almost through here. All we have to do is basically take the backing off, fill it. And place the card. Milo, no. Oops. Uh, that one flew a little too far for me to chase. I think it's a little. Milo, no. Sorry, ladies. Okay. Just. There is a little bit here, but I can put. A little bit of pressure on that and get rid of the sight of it not bad at all okay so yes he can come home now Dana <laughs> he just wanted to craft no Mel he doesn't No, he doesn't want craft <laughs> hi Mary Helen Harris glad to have you with me I'm Tammy Louise, and we're almost finished with this project. The image that I colored um, on my Procreate program uh, is Jazz. Jazz is available in my online store at tlcdesigns.shop. Comes with, I'm going to do it all over again, ladies. Jazz comes with four or five little objects like hats and bows and ties and uh, lollipops, things like that. And I made my own design paper by taking the PNG, the colored PNG, and um, placing it on some watercolored paper that I created ages ago that sort of matched the colors. And I'll show you that very shortly. Okay. 
Now you can see, ladies, I have made How am I going to do this? Well, I don't really have much of a choice but to fill, no Milo, fill the belly. That's too full. Apparently, I should have put, I should not have put, I should say, I should not have glued this one down so that I could put it over on the top. But what I'm going to try and do, I almost don't want to do that. Let me see what happens if I try and pry it off of the image slowly. Hang on, let me take it out of the camera so I can get it closer to me. Had I practiced this project, I would not have messed up, but you know what? To err is to be human. And in my craft world, my perfect little craft world, everything can be fixed. So I have the image pried off of, I am going to cut off of the um, design paper. I've doubled the another piece of the uh, tape because I want the whole thing to stand at the same level. There we go. And then I'm going to lean in over it, ladies, so I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see. But I know that this one is bigger. The one that I'm putting on is bigger. Only by the white. on the edge. Let's turn it over and see what we have. <gasps> so cute! Wow. It even had purple. I thought, how cute is that? It has almost the same candy look ladies how cute i hope that there's not so much glare that you guys can't see the candy jiggling around inside his belly what does this say are right, you guys are talking let me <laughs> let me try and catch up real quick here we had fun last week mel says he wanted to craft dana says can he come home mary joined us uh, Dana Laporte, Milo is fine. Yes, <laughs> Dana, thank you. Milo is fine. He's kind of wants to go outside, but Chris, hey, mom. Hi, Christian. Dana says, hey, friend. <laughs> it's awesome. I think that this is bringing people closer, and I think that's important. Hi, hubby and son, says Kathy. That's sweet for the love and support you get from your family. You know, Kat, I am a very lucky lady. 30, going to be 33 years this summer. High school, we met. Um, Nicole, hi. Nice to have you with us. Where did I leave out? Okay, so Mel, good luck. Dana, you're doing great. Thank you, Dana. That's right, we are human. I think it's important for us to remember that. We're, we're not supposed to be perfect. Sarah joined us. Nice to have you. Kathy says breathe. Perfect. This is adorable. I'm glad you like it, Dana. I thought it would be kind of a special effect. 
turned out fabulous. How fun. Hope Jazz doesn't get so sock sick with all that candy. Yeah, well, we'll get over it. Hi, Amanda. Nice to have you with us. Yes, I'm ready for the number. James, give us the number. Let me go back up into the messages and see who was the closest to whatever number you put on here, too. Unless you remember because you already knew it. Um, in the meantime, while James is getting that, I think I'm going to cut this strip down just a little bit. Because now it looks wider than I thought it looked originally. And I've also got a black blotch that I'm not really digging. on some of the white paper. Sometimes I brush through the process of inking my sentiment. Sometimes, not a lot. But I have been known to rush through and I touch it and it blotches. I guess I'm just glad that I could cut it down. Let's see how this looks, ladies. And of course, I put a, so we are going to cut this. Yep, I like it. We're going with it. <laughs> Two, three, um, pop dots. I'm just taking the edges off of those. I'm going to put this right on here. Come on. I want it to be straight. There we go. Oh, I like it a lot. So what is, are you ready for the number? Yes. Oh, Jim says seven. So Jim, let me go back up to my numbers. Jim, do you remember who had closest to seven? Or maybe on seven? Okay, so Kat did eight. Francis did five. Oh, Dana. <laughs> you guessed it right. So Dana is the winner of the Jazz um, digital image. I want to put another little... Maybe what I'll end up doing, and I'll put the card on the um, blog ASAP. I know I said last week I'd have it on the next day, and it took me till I think yesterday I finally got it on the blog. But maybe just a few little blings. Maybe I'll put another one on each of those, and that'll be it. or sequins or something like that. But that is the finished card. And the shaker is perfect. Look, you have the little belly in the background. That's why I did a double. And that's a digi image. A bit of fussy cutting. I know Kat doesn't necessarily enjoy that, but I think for this project, it turned out really, really good. I'm super happy with it. And I love all the dimension, the colors, everything coordinates. I like it a lot. Congratulations, Kat says. Congratulations, and Mel. Ladies, it was a pleasure. Um, share, pass the word on. I'm going to post this on my YouTube. Um, ring the bell and subscribe. Ask your friends to join. I am giving away the Double Dial Die once the store subscription email list gets to 50. So it won't be very long because I'm not far from that. I had no idea how much it would grow as soon as I put that ad out. But once we get there, I will ship worldwide. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Kathy. I am every Thursday night doing a Facebook Live. So um, Dana, I will send you the image and I hope you color it up. Let me know when you do or share it with me. Put it on my, fa my Facebook page, that kind of thing. 
and we will talk again soon. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me. Have a great week and stay away from the virus. Stay clean. Keep out of public areas that are crowded and, um, you know, stay well. Have a great week. Bye.